everyone, welcome to another episode of Enchanting El Nido. My name is Kring, I'm Lagan Island Resort's Environmental Officer. So for today, we're very lucky because we have a guest from the Philippine National Museum. His name is Dr. Arvin C. Jesmus. He's a herpetologist. So for the past few days, we've been going around El Nido and looking for amphibians and reptiles. So Dr. Arvin, how do you find the biodiversity of El Nido in terms of herps? Um, it, it's great, uh, but in general, this uh, region of Palawan, uh, the northern parts of Palawan, uh, is poorly known, poorly studied, and there, are, there have been very, very few um, expeditions, you know, bi biological expeditions uh, done here in, in this region. And so, uh, so far, you know, our, you know, our brief uh, uh, field work here is possibly among the first um, exploration of amphibians and reptiles in this region. Uh, but so far, you know, in the, only in the last three or four days of, um, of you know, going around looking for you know, frogs, snakes, lizards, it, it's been very uh, you know, exciting and we've found uh, a good number of the um, uh, species known that uh, uh, species that are only known from this region, you know, from you know, tiny microhylid frogs to uh, even a possible new uh, species of skink you know, or, uh, or a lizard. So yeah, it's very exciting. So, did we find anything special aside from those? Uh, this, uh, so far, we 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 we, we possibly have um, you know one new species of lizard. It's, um, it's not been recorded before in this region, and um, the last record I believe is you know during the 1940s, pa. Mm -hmm. and apparently they're they're quite common here, in, even here in this kind of habitat. So, so very promising indeed. So, Dr. Arvin, um, what advice could you give so that we could further conserve our biodiversity here? Um, El Nido is one of the best uh, examples where uh, ecotourism and biodiversity conservation you know, works. And the good thing about uh, what's happening here in El Nido um, you know, with the uh, ecotourism industry or the tourism industry is that the local people, you know, the local community communities are benefiting. And you know, a lot of Conservation biologists believe that's that's the key thing um, that the local community, local peoples, you know, will um, will benefit from having or from keeping uh, ecosystems intact. And so far, you know, the resorts here are doing a, a great job of doing that. Yes. So, Dr. Arvin, do you have mm -hmm. any parting message for our audience here? Um, I guess the, um, the, the main thing is that you know, this country is still a very beautiful place and we have a lot of, um, you know, we, we have a rich uh, biodiversity that you know, all of us should you know, enjoy and discover and appreciate. That's the most important thing. Um, and you know, uh, local communities, you know, local people, and the government should really work hand in hand to 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 help uh, keep this, keep our you know ecosystems and biodiversity in general uh, intact. Uh, as I have a good benefit, uh, everyone, everyone will benefit anyway. Okay, thank you for spending time with us, Dr. Arvin. Yes, and thank you. That's it for today, everyone. Again, my name is Kring. I'm Lagan Allen Resort's Environmental Officer. Thank you for taking time to watch this show. And I hope you watch out for our next episode. Bye!